Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Hey Grizzlies, uh, I just wanted to thank Ms. Cosman for uh, nominating me for Outstanding Oso. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, and it's been great how many of you have come up to me and, and congratulated me as well. Uh, really enjoyed having a little bear statue in my room. And uh, we added a, a pirate flag to it because if you haven't noticed, it's kind of like pirates. Uh, I know all the other teachers were adding stuff like science-y and oh, I love reading. But I just thought it also needed some, some decoration as well. Uh, pirates. So going forward, I want to nominate our next Outstanding Oso. And uh, for that, I would like to nominate Mr. Zach Andy. Mr. Anderson is our head custodian here at Granite Park Junior High, and he has done such a wonderful job this year. Uh, he took over this year uh, from Mr. Marlowe, who retired, and he has uh, hit the ground running. Uh, we all love him. Uh, he has been so kind, so uh, he responds whenever we need help with anything, and he's a, an incredibly hard worker, and uh, with the pandemic, you know, his job has been extra hard, and he's risen to the occasion. Uh, I know all the teachers here really appreciate him, and so that's why I think that he should be the next Outstanding Osa. Thanks, Grizzlies! Hi, my name is Nawa. And I'm Brenda. And today we are doing testing tips. The first testing tip is to be prepared. Being prepared is always helpful because that's basically, you have to be prepared in order to take the test. That includes studying, getting sleep, and drinking water. The second tip is to not get distracted. Run. Being distracted can be really bad because it can take you off of your like testing and it can... Don't pass notes. Don't cheat on your test. Please. Because if you cheat on your test, the person you're cheating off of could be doing really bad and you think you're just getting an easy A. And then you fail. And then... And, then you, and you want to be proud of your work. You want to you wanna know that you're doing your work based on what you know. And be proud for, for knowing that. Go through the questions, read them, see see if you don't know it, flag it, go back. That way you don't have to struggle for the first 15 minutes. Yes. Another tip is make sure you eat breakfast so that you can come to school energized and refreshed for the day so you can take the test. Come eat breakfast in the morning. There you go. Now, now let's, let's talk, talk to, to other teachers, teachers to see what they have to say. Tips for taking this test. Don't stay up all night. Get at least eight hours of sleep. Eat breakfast in the morning. If you don't like eating breakfast, eat breakfast. And take your time. You're not in a hurry. And there's no pass or fail. Because this is judging you, not me. It's you. You're your own measuring stick. So do the best that you can. Because I ain't going to be mad at you. Ain't nobody going to be mad at you. Remember, this is something that's going to make you better for you. Look, that's why you need to do the rise testing. 